Hey, what's up, guys? It's Darius, and this is my short unboxing slash impression slash review of the OnePlus Bamboo Style Swap cover. One of my favorite features of the OnePlus One when it was released was that it comes with Style Swap covers. These were back plates that were separately available and would replace the original back covers, which are already great backings, but these interchangeable ones are extremely cool. They teased a lot of awesome ones, including velvet and wooden options, and many more. However, due to manufacturing issues, they're not able to sell these. The only one that they sell is the bamboo version, the ones that they had already produced. However, you can still only buy it with an invite, since there are only limited quantities available. So starting with the packaging, it is extremely nice, like with all other OnePlus products. Inside, we obviously find the cover itself, two new bamboo SIM slots, so there's no way to tell from the outside whether you had the black or the white version. There's also a manual included on how to remove the old back cover and put on the new one, and there's also a video on YouTube available. I must say it is extremely hard to remove the back cover. There is a tool included, but it's still very, very hard. It took me around 10 minutes just to take off the old one. Putting it on is extremely easy, it just takes a couple of seconds, but really taking it off, it's so annoying. Design-wise, it's very nice, it is very similar to the other backings found on the OnePlus One. It is very bright, brighter, and the color is more yellowish than actual bamboo, but it's definitely real bamboo, they just added some color to it. Sadly, not all is bamboo, just the top layer of the back, the rest is plastic. This is understandable to improve durability, but I wish that at least the sides were bamboo. On the back, there are no Cyanjin or other brandings, just a silver OnePlus logo. Also, no two backings are the same, because also no two bamboo trees are the same. Luckily, NFC is still available and all ports are still the same, accessible, no problems at all with the ports, which is to be expected. I must say it's not very classy with the bright yellow look on it, however it looks very nice, a nice nature touch, but it's not for everybody. About durability, I'm not sure how its long term durability is, however it looks very durable and I think it should resist some drops and scratches. For example, the sandstone one gets a lot of scratches, which isn't great, so I think the bamboo one definitely holds up better than that one. The feel in the hand is very good, however it is more slippery, not extremely, but it is more than the sandstone one. I don't know about the white version, how slippery that one is. Also, it is a little thicker, the camera doesn't protrude anymore, now it's on the same level as the back. And the added bulk is one of the only downsides for me with this back cover. The final downside, besides that it is super hard to switch the back covers, is that it is very expensive at $50 and you still need an invite to purchase it. The price may be justified since it is real bamboo, however it is still very pricey. If it's too expensive for you or you just can't get an invite, which are available on eBay for around 20 bucks, but you still want that bamboo look and feel, then you can get the bamboo case, which my friend Jordan reviewed for around $10 and I have his review down below. Another option would be a bamboo skin, for example from dbrand, however I haven't tried this. I absolutely love this back cover despite its small drawbacks and I think it looks awesome. For everybody who wasn't able to purchase the OnePlus One so far, I have some very exciting news for you. Now you can buy the One without an invite every Tuesday, which is pretty awesome. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, feel free to drop me a like down below, comment and subscribe. See you guys in the next one, bye.